Um, we also discussed the issue of the country generally, and uh, Mr. President has asked me to, again, I inform Nigerians that he listens to them, uh, especially the young people that are trying to, uh, to protest. Mr. President is listening to them. Uh, he, he takes what they say seriously and is working as seriously to ensure that this country is good, not just for today, but also for the future. Um, the issue of the planned protest, uh, Mr. President does not see any need for that. He has, he's asked them to, uh, to shove that plan. Uh, he's asked them to await government's uh, uh, response to all their pleas. He has listened to them, like I said. And a lot is happening. Only today, the National Assembly has expeditiously uh, passed the new national minimum wage. You can see how the president is working. It was transmitted only yesterday. Today it has been passed. A lot of other uh, interventions that the president has also put in place um, are also going to be looked at uh, expeditiously in the interest of Nigeria. So there's no need for, tr for strike. The young people uh, out there should listen to the president and allow the president more time to see to the realization of all the goodies he has for them. Okay. Nigerians, can you see the need for you to know your rights and also demand for your rights? This call for protest is your fundamental right. Just imagine the thought of protest, planning protest, is making your politicians to run helter-skelter. Like these guys are scared, they are threatened. They are terrified. Look at what is happening on the floor of the National Assembly. They've gone on to slash their salary by 50% for six months. Even though we know that it's not enough, this isn't even know what we are asking for. Them slashing their salary is scratching the surface. They are only doing all these things to protect their personal interests. Your president, the Jagaban of Nigeria and Africa, is scared. Tinibu is fretting because he know how effective protests can be. This was the same man that led protests against Gulag Jonathan in 2012. And that protest was effective to the point that it crumbled the government of Gulag Jonathan. That protest sent a strong signal that helped to remove Gulag Jonathan out of office. He knows that if this protest occur, it is going to shake the foundation of his government. That's the reason why he has sent 20 trucks of rice to each state so that the people can eat and not come out for the protest because a hungry man is an angry man and if the people they are if the people they eat they'll be satisfied not to come out for the protest he equally increased the minimum wage to seventy thousand naira, but unfortunately everything that tinibu is doing is not addressing the real issue now he has come out to ask nigerians to give him more time should we give bola tinibu more time absolutely not tinibu does not deserve more time he has shown beyond reasonable doubt that he doesn't need more time he has shown beyond reasonable doubt that if we give him more time, he will keep destroying the country and the economy. When Bola Tinibu took over office, Tinibu said that he inherited a battered economy. As someone that inherited a battered economy, we expected him to live as someone that inherited a battered economy. But his lifestyle, his government expenditure, is showing the opposite of what he's saying. It's currently showing that Tinibu has so much money to waste. There is no time in this world that will be given to Tinibu that he will be able to fix the economy. The time that he has been in power, he has shown that he does not have the willpower to fix the economy. Come on, what are we even talking about? In Argentina, the same situation we are experiencing in Nigeria is also the same situation they were experiencing in Argentina. They also elected a new president and that president came in and for the first time in the history of Argentina, in decades, Argentina did not experience inflation. Whereas Bola Metinibu has took our inflation from what it used to be under President Muhammad Dubari to times five. And you have to look at it. What did the president of Argentina did? He reduced the cost of governance. He cut down so many ministries. But look at what Bola Metinibu did. He came on board and increased the ministries that he took over from President Muhammad Dubari, created so many agencies. Even while they are talking about this protest, just a few weeks back, two weeks ago, Bola Metinibu created the ministries of Katsu and Hedas. This was the same person that told us that he wants to implement the Orasanya report, but he's creating a new ministry on top of the too many redundant ministries we have in this country. Some of these ministries are no longer functional, but they keep having budgets every year. And these ministries, they are putting a strain on our budget. When P2B was campaigning, P2B said he's going to cut down the cost of governance. What everyone expected Bola Metinibu to do was to do the same. But this man came on board and employed too many special advisors. This action of increasing the number of ministries shows that Tinibu is not ready to cut down the cost of governance. And is not ready to fix the economy. 
Again, if the president truly inherited a battered economy and is willing to fix the economy, he would have approached the National Assembly and asked them to cut down their cost of governance, reduce their allowances. I mean, this should be made known. Nigerians should be aware that this is what the president has placed in front of the National Assembly. It is left for them to agree or not. That means if Nigerians are protesting, they will know who to target. The people in the National Assembly were voted in by Nigerians to represent them. They did not go there to cut away too many allowances. If they refuse to reduce their allowances, Nigerians will go to the National Assembly, occupy the National Assembly, and force the people in the National Assembly to reduce their allowances. But the president did not do any of that. What did he do? He approved the purchase of SUV worth 160 million naira for these National Assembly members. And to make matter worse, was these vehicles were foreign made vehicles not locally made vehicles if they were locally made vehicle it would have been fair at least the money would have been in nigeria and would have helped to boost the economy he did all of this because he wants to please the national assembly so that anytime any b from the president go to the national assembly member it will receive speedy attention that was the reason why they speedily granted his wish to change the national anthem how many of you have sung the national anthem ever since it was changed therefore the president does not need more time the time that was given to him what did he do he used 90 billion to subsidize hajj this is a religious pilgrimage a pilgrimage in futility a pilgrimage that does not add one cent to the economy of this country but rather it took away 90 billion of this country resources to another country to show you that the president does not need more time, the president approved the reconstruction of the resident of the vice president for 21 billion naira. Why Nigerians were suffering the pain of the first subsidy that the president inflicted on them? Why they were suffering the pain of the inflation the president inflicted on them? Why they were suffering the pain of the electricity tariff, the interest rate that the president inflicted on them? The president, rather than trying to alleviate that suffering, went ahead to purchase a $150 million presidential jet. That is over 240 billion naira. But the president was negotiating 60 to 70,000 naira as minimum wage. You can't inflict pain on the people. You can't tell the people to endure the suffering that you inflicted on them. Whereas you are living an extravagant lifestyle. The attitude of the president, the expenses of the president so far have not in any way shown that he wants to fix the economy. It has not in any way shown that he inherited a battered economy. We are not even talking about the 15 trillion naira that was used to build the Calabar Coastal Highway. Of course, we know that that project is to satisfy his personal relationship with Gide Chogri. That project is not of the best interest. Of Nigeria it is not a project of national interest it is the project of settling cronies of course Nigeria has given the president enough time one year in office is enough to change whatever negative situation you met on ground you don't even need to make it hundred percent but you have to reduce it you have to mitigate it but the president in one year in office has made everything worse come on Whatever we are experiencing today, we have never experienced it in, in, the, in the history of this country. But Lamia Tinibu has made everything worse and there is no end to it. There is absolutely no end to it. Tell me what policies that are on ground that will show that there is going to be an end to insecurity. Tell me what policies that the president has put in place to show that in the next one year, we are going to have abundant food supply in this country. Tell me what policies that the president has put in place that will show that he's going to reduce inflation. Tell me what policies the president has put in place to show that he's going to reduce the number of out-of-school children. Tell me what policies the president has put in place to show that he's going to increase our medical health care. Tell me what policies the president has put in place to show that he's going to reduce the cost of governance. What are the policies he has put in place to show that he's going to stop oil theft? What are the policies that he has put in place to show that he's going to cut the cost of governance in the National Assembly? There is nothing on ground. All we keep hearing is that the president is working, the president is working. Just paper talk, propaganda, media talk. Mr. President, Nigerians are tired with the propaganda. They are tired with the media talk. 
all they want to see is result you have enough time one year in office one year in office is enough to give nigerians a direction to follow but no you did not do any of this you did not assure nigerians you did not show them that you came to actually work for them but rather you use the one year in office to live a life of profligacy you use your one year in office to live a life of reckless expenditure this plan protest has been going on for the past three weeks if you needed to do anything you would have started immediately you would have started by cutting down the cost of governance reduce your salary reduce your ministry sack so many people they should go home and look for a job to do you should tell nigerians how much you earn you should tell nigerians how much your ministers earn how much the expenditure they have you should go to the national assembly tell them to cut down their cost of governance this is what you should have done doing this alone will give nigerians hope to believe in whatever you are telling them maybe you think that they are joking maybe you think that oh what they're just doing is just social media talk and i really wish and i hope that nigerians are going to prove you wrong and let you know that they are really really serious about this protest thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video